Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. So today we're revisiting the shutter lag issue on the Galaxy S22 Ultra to see if Samsung has finally fixed it. A few months back we did a deep dive testing the shutter lag on the S22 Ultra and we also came up with a way to fix it, or at the very least make it better. If you want to check out that video in its entirety I will leave a link to it at the end of this video and down in the description. But the short version is, lag was indeed an issue and the fix, while largely effective, was also kind of a pain. To remedy the issue, we had to go into the camera app's pro mode settings and turn up the shutter speed and exposure. Which is great, assuming your subject is willing to wait around while you figure out exactly what speed and exposure adjustments you need to make, and assuming you have the time or the interest in messing with such things. F that. So today we will be looking at a more practical solution to this issue using the S22 Ultra's primary point and shoot camera mode, along with Samsung's new Camera Assistant app. To get the Camera Assistant app, you will need to be sure you are running the latest version of Samsung's mobile operating system, One UI 5.0, which is Sammy's version of Android 13. Then you should be able to download the app straight to your phone from the Galaxy Store. Now the reason I say should is because apparently some people aren't seeing it in the Galaxy App Store, so if you wind up being one of those unfortunate people, I will also include a link to the app down in the description. As always, I don't get anything if you use the link, I'm just a nice guy. You sure are. Once you download the app, you can access it from the app drawer or through the settings inside the Samsung camera app. There are actually a bunch of new settings inside the app, but for this video, we are interested in the faster shutter setting, which tells us we can speed up the shutter by capturing fewer frames, with the warning that it may also decrease picture quality. Now, before you take the time to do all this, you probably want to know how well this new feature works. And the good news is it works well at least with the primary camera. To test the new faster shutter feature, we took 10 pictures in rapid succession, first with the faster shutter setting off, then with the setting turned on. And we did this in a variety of lighting conditions. Testing the primary 108 megapixel wide angle lens indoors with all the studio lights on, we see the shutter is indeed much faster with the faster shutter setting turned on. In fact, with the setting turned on, we were able to capture all 10 of the shots. By comparison, we were only able to capture four shots with the setting turned off. Additionally, and perhaps just as importantly, there does not appear to be any visual reduction in picture quality. Even when zoomed into the shot, the results are practically identical. And just for poops and giggles, we ran the same test with the Pixel 6 Pro, and it was only able to snag 7 shots during the test. So with the faster shutter setting turned to on, the S22 Ultra was actually faster than the Pixel, and picture quality was similar on both. And running the test outdoors in brighter conditions using the primary camera yielded similar results. Once again, we were able to capture all 10 shots with the faster shutter setting turned on, while only being able to capture 5 shots with the setting turned off. So, so far, the fix is looking pretty good, right? Well, it was till we got to our low light test. Back in the studio with the lights turned off, we see we were only able to grab 3 shots with the setting turned on, compared to 2 shots with the setting turned off. Now, it could be argued that of course the ultra shutter won't work as fast in low light, because in lower lighting conditions, the phone needs more time to capture the shot. So once again, just to have a frame of reference, we ran the same test again with the Pixel. And just like in brighter conditions, the Pixel was again able to capture 7 shots. And this time around, I feel like the Pixel also captured the better looking shots. And we got the same less than impressive results when using all three of the other rear facing cameras on the Ultra. And those results were the same across all lighting conditions. And the results were also the same regardless of whether or not the faster shutter setting was on or off. So after looking at all the results, is it fair to say that Samsung has finally fixed the shutter lag issue on the S22 Ultra? I would say yes. Kind of. Having the faster shutter speed setting turned on successfully and greatly reduced the lag in normal indoor and outdoor lighting conditions, even beating out the shutter speed on the Pixel 6 Pro, and it did so with no noticeable impact on image quality. But the Ultra still suffered from significant shutter lag during the low light test, and the new setting doesn't seem to have any effect when using the Ultra's ultra wide or two telephoto lenses. At the end of the day, I do feel like this is a win for Samsung. I feel like most photos, particularly photos taken of moving subjects where shutter lag will be the biggest issue, are probably going to be taken with the primary camera, in decent lighting, and in that situation, the new faster shutter setting definitely improves the camera experience and should yield some noticeably better shots. So much so in fact that moving forward I don't know why Samsung wouldn't just update the phone and make the faster shutter setting the default setting. However if you are someone who finds themselves in a lot of low light photography situations or you take a lot of action shots at a variety of distances then Samsung's new solution will certainly be less than perfect. Well that's all the information I have for one day. As always I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and until next time this is Rando Tech Info. Signing out.